Hi, Mr. Chairman. It's Aussie Villain. Don't worry about the league, mate. We've got things under control, I think. Uh, but look, anyway, the reason I'm calling is, uh, you know, we got a cool half mil for winning in Europe last time. And I just think it'd be a nice gesture for the club to invest that into the, uh, into the youth. The children are our future, mate. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 5, Episode 8 today and today we are going to win the league title, I hope. Or else I'm going to have some questions to answer, aren't I? As the manager of the only professional team. Hopefully we get it done nice and quick. And then we will then have a game in Europe. If not, uh, if it takes a couple of games, then that will be the episode. And we'll come back for Europe next time around. Now, the good news after uh, we obviously won the last time out our opening Europa League fixture. I did ask for some more improvements into youth coaching. And that was uh, agreed to. So that's now exceptional, which I believe is as high as it goes. And then we've got excellent youth recruitment. I don't know if there's a superb after excellent but uh, i think that's as high as they both go if you want to confirm that for me in the comments it would be appreciated but i'm fairly sure we don't go any higher than that so that's excellent news it really really is but uh, let's have our, a quick reminder of the league situation there is a round of games we have vikinger who of course not that long ago we beat 5-1 and kr to have keflovic now if we win if uh, and if uh, kr don't They'll have one game to go. If we're four points clear, basically, I mean, goal difference, if we're three points clear, realistically, it's done. But if we are four points clear after today's game, which is going to mean we win, they don't, then we will have the title. Uh, and then after, otherwise, I think if we go, we've got a game to make up against Keflavik. And if we take anything from that, then that will do it. If it comes down to the final day, which it better not, <laughs> then uh, well, you can see there, we're at home to Selfos. KR will be away to Vela. And uh, I did just want to draw your attention too to the relegation battle. Uh, HK essentially dead and buried. But look at this, between 11th place and all the way up to arguably, well, up, up to 4th, they're, they're not mathematically safe. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing Vikinger today, who are on the edge of Europe, but equally not safe from relegation. It is an absolutely mental league, and it's just that ourselves and KR just maybe a little bit more consistent and manage to put ourselves in this position to battle for the title, where almost literally the rest of the league is in a relegation scrap. So it's 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 amazing. Really, really interesting stuff. Anyway, let's have a look at the team we're sending out to face KR. Now, we're expecting a 4-4-2. No, we're not playing KR. We're playing Viking. I'd like to get another chance at KR, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, 4-4-2 we're expecting from them. This is a team we're sending out. Now, of course, we are coming straight back from a European fixture. And what I'm sort of doing here is this team is, is more or less the team that... Uh, I can't remember what I'm doing, actually. I think we're just rotating. There was a method to my madness, and I think I've forgotten what that method is, which sounds like me, doesn't it? So it's uh, Andreasen in goal, Sanchez, Andreasen, Antonsen, and Matheson as the back four. Podartsen is going to be in there as the uh, as the anchor man, uh, Turpinson and uh, Karrison in midfield. Cissé, Rocky, and Gardini will be the front three. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. I don't recognize any names there. Now, they had I had a good months. No, good Johnson, isn't it? Oh, here it is. There, Helgi Good Johnson. He's he. I thought he played for them. He has scored quite a few goals against us. He's very strong in the air, which is why we've gone with uh, sort of our two European centre backs for this one. Put on a worthy display for the media. All right, I can get on board with that. Outside of that uh, KR game, I and mean, like I said, we had been playing very well. And uh, yeah, like I'm not completely sure what happened in the KR game. It was just one of those I think where something went wrong, obviously. But I. I'm hoping anyway that we'll quickly get ourselves back into form here and uh, yeah like I say if we win this then it, it's it's obviously not done but it'll be very difficult then with one game to go for for KR for them to, to take anything from us and uh or take any more points out of us I should say to be able to, to win the league but we need to make sure we win here if we don't win and they do then suddenly I guess we'll have a game in hand but we'll find ourselves behind them and the pressure will really be on uh, now, just uh, I want to thank everybody for their nominations for uh, Viewers Player of the Year. I think we've already had a record number of nominations, which is excellent. Um, but yeah, if you haven't nominated or you want to add somebody else, oh, that is so unlucky. It was offside, wasn't it, anyway? Um, yeah, you can nominate more than one player if you want. So uh, yeah, just uh, keep them coming in and uh, we'll get the nominations list done closer to the end of the season. And... A little bit of head tennis going on here. Down to Karrison. Gadini. Gadini loses out. Turpitson can't quite get a foot back in. Andreasen wins it, though. Rocky loses out. And it's 
bit of a scrappy highlight. And there's the ball through. Danny Sanchez gets caught out. We're 1-0 down, and this is not really what we wanted. Maybe I just need to play the league games off camera at this rate. It just... <laughs> uh. So what's got... It was, it was Danny Sanchez. He is a little bit of a liability defensively, isn't he? So how much more we'll see of him, I don't know. We do have, of course, our Chinese left back who's not registered in the squad for this year. But I wonder if maybe moving forward, what we were looking to want is uh, Collar, who is our young left back that came through at the club. And maybe the Chinese guy and Denny Sanchez, perhaps we might look to move on. Sanchez, though, over a free kick. Back post. Andreasen. Oh, it's not Andreasen. It is it's Andreasen. It is Andreasen. He is a goal scoring machine for a centre back. Does take a lot of penalties, but that might, was that his 10th of the year? He's getting up towards those numbers, and that is uh, Turco esque in terms of a header looping it back over the goalkeeper. And we're back level at one. Now, I haven't noticed a score coming in from the uh, KR game. There's a ball. It's bouncing around. It's a penalty, is it? A clumsy trip? No, Andreasen with the uh, with the clumsy trip. But uh, let's see what we can do here. We seem to be uh, settling into this game a little bit. Put darts and forward for Rocky. Rocky cuts back in. It's there for Gaddini, and it's a good block from the defender. Over the top. Late in the first half here. Can we go and take a lead now? Matheson with the corner into a good area it is headed away though and well we've got players back and that ends the highlight so we're a little bit lucky to be behind looking at the momentum of the game it has all been us just that one one moment really that they've had uh all right so let's say it doesn't ex ex uh, reflect the pattern of play just keep going get out there and do it and uh cisse is not having a particularly good game we haven't seen much of him to be fair but we'll leave him out there for now. Uh, we don't have that many options in wide areas at the moment. Um, I don't have Viva on the bench for whatever reason. I picked the team uh, before. Oh, and it is 2-1 now. Can Kaflovic come back in that one, I wonder? We've got another corner. Matheson, good ball in. Oh, it's off the crossbar. I think it was Rocky at the near post. So unlucky. And... Cissé is looking nervous now as well. So what we will do here, we do have uh, this guy on the bench who can play on the left-hand side as a winger. So what we might do is, is make that change. Now, Rocky is not... He can't cross, can he? No. So we might use him then as an inside forward. And uh, Matheson on the overlap can maybe get something going for us there. Carrison was the other one that looked a little nervous, but he seems to have... Uh, well, he's not feeling too nervous now. We've got a corner to defend. It is away. It's a good header away by Good Nason as well. Carrison can't stop the cross coming in. It's headed away by Sanchez, I think it was. Rocky just sort of clears it up a little bit further, but Viking have the ball. It's certainly not going to be 5 1 this one, is it? Andreasen claims it. Now, what happens from here? Rolls it out to Antonsen. Cross field there for Andreasen. Always makes you a little bit nervous with centre backs playing out from the back, doesn't it? Carrison, good ball forward there for Good Nason. Oh, it's going to Gadini. Gadini can't beat the goalkeeper. And Carrison's just not playing well. Let's get Halkson on and see if he can get uh, some, some balls forward for us. There's a header and it's over the top. Was it Matheson with the header? A draw here. Is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world, obviously. Good Nason for Turpinson. Turpinson does really well for Good Nason. He's got a decent cross on him. Rocky's at the back post. Is he onside? Doesn't matter because Gadini leaps above them all and heads the ball into the back. And that it is 2 1 now. And this could be the title essentially done. Although if they win, uh, they being KR, then we do need to beat uh, Keflovic to make that a certainty. But Gardini with a good header. I thought that was going to Rocky, the cross originally, and I don't know that Rocky was on side, to be honest. Let's praise them, and if we can get a third here, then surely that is that, and then we're just hoping Kaplovic, who are, of course, our local rivals, then we're just hoping that they uh, take some points off KR, and that'll be job done. Playing around with it at the back. Turpinson turned. Good ball for Rocky. 
Turpertson has just been just such an improved player this year. There's a good ball back for Rocky. Rocky's in. Rocky scores. It's 3-1. It's his 14th of the season. And that is surely that done at our end. What is KR doing? They will have a game to play. And it was a one-point gap, wasn't it? So if they win, it'll be a one-point gap. So we will still be a win short. Goalkeeper got a hand to it, but not a strong enough hand to keep it out. And... Well, let's give him some praise. And that should be done. We've still got a highlight then. Surely not coming back to win it. Can we pad the goal difference a little bit more? Halpson! Getting forward in an unusual role for him. He's usually more of a, of a, of a deeping lying midfielder. But there we go. We have won the game. Have we won the league? And the answer is... Kind of. <laughs> uh, they've drawn, so we are three points ahead uh with they've got one game to go so they can only level our points but that goal difference means that it's more or less done so i think with that being the case what we might do here realistically we've won the league haven't we so what we might do then is uh we will come back i will play through the end of the league season we'll make it mathematical and then we'll face away in europe a uh, benik ostrava who i believe are a czech side and that is a decent chance for us to pick up uh some more points in europe all right, welcome back. Now, we're getting ready to face Benik Ostrava here in the Europa League. But before we do that, we do, of course, need to wrap up the league season. So let's go see. I mean, we can probably assume we were going to win it, but let's see how it played out. Huggins gave us a first half lead. Couple of big pulled level. Before Halpson played in Rocky to seal the title. So it was a comfortable performance from us. Really, the only chance they had was the goal that they scored. I think the XG tracker kind of confirms that. Uh, it was much more comfortable than the 2-1 uh, scoreline suggests, but it meant we were champions. We had Morty Mortensen with a gaming goal as well, just trying to give us some experience to some younger players here as well, with left back as well. Um, but yeah, it was comfortable. It was uh, title done, job done, and we had one game to go against Selfos. Huggins found Rocky to give us the lead. Selfos pulled level before Huggins crossed for Sanchez to get his first Grindavik goal. And Cissé played in Rocky for our third. Still think Rocky was offside for that second goal. But anyway, another game that we dominated, deserved to win. It was a little bit more, you can see on the XG track, a little bit more two-way, I suppose. But ultimately, they, their finishing was poor and, and we had all the possessions. So it was it was absolutely fine. Again, we uh, with the title done, we really did play some kids uh Adel Stoyntsen I think it'll be his last game for us unless we get some injuries I just don't quite think he is what he was or what I thought he was going to be but yeah a good result there and the final league table there it is there so it was Vela and HK that ended up going down six points was the gap at the end a 30 goal difference is not too bad over a 22 game league season so all in all uh, yeah as I say a very very good uh, good job now there are some uh, end of uh, league season uh, awards I suppose so Capiello set a new league record, breaking Moa's league record of a few seasons ago uh, with a 7.72 average rating. So well done to him. Uh, Stefansson was third in the Golden Boot, which, I mean, it makes you wonder if he's all that bad, doesn't it, really? But he was playing most of the games in the league this season. And we do. He sh I think our striker should be scoring a lot more goals than that, if I'm honest. Uh, the goal of the year, we actually had all marks and come second in that, which is not a bad place to be. And I think there was something else. The only other thing to catch you up on was our chairman is the same. Egil Goodmanson has won a second term, so congratulations to him. But uh, anyway, on to things at hand, and that is, of course, the uh, the game here against uh, Bank B Benik, I suppose it would be. The 4 2 3 one we're expecting from them, and this is the team we're sending out. It is Andreasen in goal. It is Meng, Jen Yu, Andreasen, Antonsen, and Matheson as the back four. Sayas, Turbotson, and Capiello in midfield. Viva, Turco, it is, I think, this time his last game for us. His his uh, loan, it's saying it's going to expire again at the end of September. So that'll make this his final game. Gadini will go up top. So let's hope that we can, uh, let's hope we can get another, well, if not win, certainly draw. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Uh, we don't have the Czech League loaded. So maybe that's good news. We might be able to nick something good or impress me. I think uh, just ignore the recent praise. Go out there, play a natural game. Away from home in Europe, you know, it's never easy, is it? So hopefully we can play well here. And here we go. So they're actually coming out in a 4-4-2 in the end. 
Now, when I got the uh, sort of the scouting and analyst reports, they didn't really know what to expect from them. They, it was one of those where it said there's so little statistical data or whatever it is, or data, uh, whatever it is that they say. So I'm hoping that means that they're a little bit rubbish, but, uh, you know, to get this far, Roof Watch is back, Czech Republic version, and uh, looks very similar to the Icelandic group, that one, doesn't it? Must be done by the same engineering company. <laughs> uh, all right, so here they go. Here they come. Got our two big center backs. You can't miss them, can you? Who's the little shorty, I wonder? Who is, I wonder who that is. I wonder if it's one of the fullbacks. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're underway. And uh, let's encourage them. Yeah, I think it's one of these where if we were to get a draw here, it's it's uh, coefficient points. It's a little bit of cash. And then that would be great. If we were to get a win, and let's let ourselves dream for a split second here as <laughs> Benick attack and are they about to go ahead? No, as Matheson gets the ball clear. That yeah, would put us on six points. Now, we don't have much history, obviously, of the league format as to how many, how many points it will take to get us out of uh, out of the, the group into the knockout. It's not really a group, it's at the league into the knockout rounds as Matheson gets back again. Oh, and that is a little bit of luck. But uh, we do get away with it. But six points, we've got Dundalk to play. I still maintain I saw Dundee that first that first time when the, the fixtures came out. I don't know what I what I was seeing. Um if, and again we're we're throwing ifs around like they're going out of style, but if we were to then go and beat Dundalk, nine points must get us a little ways towards uh getting out of the league. Because it's the top what 24 or something that, that do get through, so yeah, this is a big game on that sense as well. But it's nil-nil at half time. We've dominated possession, but there hasn't really been much in terms of chances to talk about. We've been the better team here. Let's just keep going without pressure. And we've got faith in you all. A draw is, as I say, is absolutely fine. What we want to do is we want to improve from what we did last year, basically, don't we? Last year we were second bottom. Uh, we've already scored more points this season than we did last season, so. You'd like to think that's not going to be repeated. And here we go now. Turpinson. Oh, it's... I wonder if... It all looks a little bit compact. I wonder if we try and exploit the flanks. Move it around a little bit quicker. Oh, Matheson gets a, oh, almost a really good tackle in. Now, we've let him go. Is he offside? I think... I think, and maybe it's more I hope, he is offside. VAR is checking. VAR awards the goal. We're 1-0 down. And how close was it? Oh, Meng Jen Yu is going to play him on, isn't he? If anybody, I think that's I think that's who's played him on. I'm still not convinced. Can we get the the offside line? It's going to be it here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Meng Jen Yu played him on. Oh, that's silly, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's make some tactical changes here because we are we are well we have been the better team. So let's raise the tempo and look to exploit these flanks. And the other thing I'm wondering is if we look to trap outside. We'll see how that goes. Because they've got wide midfielders as opposed to wingers. So that might serve us well. And see if we can get some players into the game that haven't otherwise been in the game. And it's not really happening, is it? All right, Viva, Turco. All right, Viva's not playing well. What we might do then is let's go to different formation. Uh, we'll move Sayas forward. We'll move Capiello forward. Turco and Gadini can stay where they are. We just need another midfield player. That can be... Who's on the bench here that we could bring on? Halkson. That can be Halkson. And let's see if that brings us any luck. Uh, and if we try a demand more... No, that's not really working either, is it? All right, Matheson, you come off. Huggins has been in really good form coming into this one, so let's get him on. Ten minutes to play. Let's go attacking, and let's see if Huggins can be the difference maker here for us. Here we go, Turpinson, Capiello, back to Sayas, Andreatson, Meng Jen Yu, and we just keep recycling, which is absolutely fine. Back we go, and we'll start again. Turpinson. It's there for Capiello. Gets it wide for Meng Genyu. Over the top. Looking for and not really finding anybody. But here we go. Turco to Gadini. He's offside, I think. It's in the back of the net. But I am fairly sure he's offside. It was a nice little bit of play for us. 
Please give it. No, it looked offside, I've got to be honest. So that is ruled out and he's, yeah, that was offside and we can't really complain. We will, no doubt. I'll go to the press conference after the game and rip into VAR and say it's a disgrace and all that kind of stuff. But really, it wasn't. We've dominated possession here and we've just not been able to break them down. So a 1-0 defeat in a game I really did think we could get something from. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of those. Are you pleased with the performance? We had so much possession, it's difficult not to. We just didn't create much. So just like that, we slide down to 21st in the table, which isn't ideal, but it's still better than last season, I suppose. But there we go. They win the Battle of Me Mesky Stadium. Uh, so that's uh, disappointing. It is disappointing, isn't it? But there we go. We've won the league title, so it's not been a complete disaster. Uh, I don't see much point in coming back for Roma or Ren. I just think we're going to lose both those games quite comfortably. So we'll come back. It'll be Dundalk, not Dundee. And then AEK Athens at home. Both of these, if this was the other way around, I'd say nailed on. We should beat Dundalk at home and we probably won't get much in Greece. But the way it is, it could easily be six points. It could easily be nothing. So we'll come back next time and see what it is. Don't forget to go and nominate uh, last call for viewers player of the year because next episode we'll be voting on it. Take care.